today I'm going to show you how I made this little three page insert out of junk envelopes. What I did was I made like a 3D effect with images, um, one image on each of the windows. And as you turn it, um, it, it just has like a 3D effect, sort of. And I put it on this, the, this backing board, which I'm not really crazy about, but I just wanted to show how it would fit in a junk journal. So, a 3D little insert for a junk journal. And let's get started. So, first of all, I found the three envelopes that I wanted to use. And they're, you know, pretty much the same size windows in them. They don't have to be exact. Um, this third one's a little bit bigger, but that's okay because we're going to be covering that up. But what I do need to do is make them all pretty much the same size so that they, you know, they are the same size in proportion. So anyway, so what I did was I layered the windows the way I'd want them. And then I started, I cut, started cutting down the sides. And so on this side, I'm going to use the fold in the envelope. This is the, the fold in the envelope. This is like the bottom part of the envelope, you know, right here, the bottom part. And so it's already folded. So what I'm going to do is come over here and with my X-Acto knife or every, any kind of cutting tool that you want to use, I cut it down. It's three layers. And I probably need a sharper tool. I'm very bad about putting in new blades, so. And we'll cut. There we go. And then you can either keep this for something else, which I mean the back has these little designs, so I'm gonna keep it for something else. And then now you have these with the little fold over flap and that's what's going to be glued down so we still have to get the correct size here so it kind of fell apart here put them back together all nice and even and I'm just trying to get you know the size that I want so this probably about, I don't know, looks like three quarters of an inch on top, on the top of that opening. And I think I'll want to do about the same on the bottom. So um, I'll just mark three quarters of an inch. And it doesn't have to be exact. As a matter of fact, that's, that's like the width of the ruler. So I'm just gonna put that down there. And cut that down. There, now you have your three little pages or whatever. And they pretty much match up. And they don't have to be exact. But you'd like, you know, you'd like to have the, the size of the page is relatively the same. And so now what I'm going to do, a little piece there, more than that, part of the envelope. Okay. So, let's see, just back together. So this one I'm going to glue down to here. And then this one I'm going to glue down to here. And this flap here is going to be what's pasted down on, onto your page in, in your junk journal. So let's go ahead. Yeah, my... This I use this is a an old catalog that I got in the mail that I use to glue things on. And as as the pages get messed up, I just tear the pages off and get a, then I'll have a fresh page underneath. So 
I take this and I'm using PVA glue. I tried using a glue stick and, you know, they're not that reliable. You think you're doing okay and then all of a sudden it's unstuck. So I'm going to use PVA glue because you know that's going to stick. And then fold that down and then can you see am, am I in? Yeah, okay. And I put it right along the fold of the the other one there. So now I got my first page. You see it's glued down there. It's nice and stuck down. And then I'm going to glue that one to this one, like that. So now all three pages are glued together. Make sure that's glued down. This is a little crooked. So I'm gonna... There. Okay, all nice and flat and glued down. Two, three. Okay. Like I said, this flap is going to be stuck down on your, in your journal, either this way or this way. Um, it's up to you. Either way works. On this one, I did it this way, and then I covered it with something, something decorative here. This is an, a, a, a doily, a paper doily. So that's why I do it that one. Now we're going to cover it up with all kinds of, of paper. Now you can use any kind of paper you want. I like using something that doesn't have that much of a design on, on it so that you can see the images in the window a little better. I mean, in other words, it's not taking away, the design here is not taking away from, from the design that I put in the window. There it is. So here we are, and we're going to start grunging or start decorating all the pages. So I'm going to go ahead and start sticking down all this paper, and I um, go ahead and use my uh, ink, my Distress ink to darken the edges and I do it on both sides because part of it is going to show whoop, I think it was my dauber thingy part of it's going to show through the window so you want to darken both sides now where did it go way under the desk of course And you can do this as much as you want, as much or as little as you want. And I'm going to do this edge too because what I'm going to do is fold it over to the other side. Yeah.
And you just continue to do this with all kinds of decorative or, you know, vintage papers. Here's a nice little piece, already all grunged up, except this end. And I can put that there. I think I'll wait and put something underneath first. How about, oh, here's a nice piece. No, it's kind of like the same as that one. Let's do, let's do this one. And there are some torn edges and there's some straight edges. It's all in what you want. This is just covering it up, that's all. Just If you get some on the little window, you can wipe it off. But also, I kind of stick it in little places a little bit, and then when you grunge it up, it sticks to the glue and it makes like, it makes, it looks, the window looks a little bit grungy, which I kind of like. Hard to see. Anyways, stick this down before it dries. I didn't put it on the wrong side, but that's okay. Who cares? I will put this one there. don't want that much showing through the window so I'm going to tear that a bit like that can you see that how I stuck glue on there and then grunged up a little bit can you see that see you can see see the grunginess on the window, which I like. You may not like it, but I like it. I don't know where I got this idea. It's been around for a really long time. I think I got it from my art school days. The idea of the 
catalog. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Where's this piece? This little piece. Now this little piece can go right here. And I think I'm going to cover that first. Do, 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 do. This is a good way to use up all your little scraps you've got hanging around. much just a little piece I think yeah I forgot to grunge it up So I am overlapping the window just a tiny bit. So just a little bit shows through to the other side, if you can see that. And I don't want to get it on the fold because that's just going to make it tougher for your little pages to, um, you know, to turn over. So I'm I'm not I'm trying not to go in the fold. And as you can see, it's not gonna show really that much. It's really it's really fine. Now this was a, a brown envelope or a kind of an orangey colored envelope, and so I left some of that showing because I thought it was a nice color. Right here. Ooh, here's a little piece of old tape. I like that. That's pretty cool. And am I going to grunge that? I'll grunge this one a little bit.
I always have baby wipes on my desk. That one's coming along. What else? What else? What else? Let's see. I've got this little bit of writing here. This is from an old ledger. So what is this? I need some more paper. Oh, here's something. old letter from something. First page done. And you can see how it shows up on the other side. A little bit, it peeks through the window a little bit. Oh, there's a little white piece down there, but you know what? I'm just going to do that, and it's going to be fine. This piece, I can just fold that over. That. So let's go on to the other pages. How about this? I already got a piece of that. I need more paper, more vintagey stuff. All right, I found some more stuff in my stash. This is from an old envelope, 1936. I have some old envelopes in my store. My JML, uh, my JML journal store. You can take a look. That'll be good. I like it. Again, I'm trying not to get in the in the fold because I want to be able to keep the pages, you know, 
easy to turn. So I just kind of do a little test. And it's, it's, it's nice. It's right in there, right in the little crease. Crunch it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's good. And what else have I got here? This is old wrapping paper very old wrapping paper that I've been using. I've used it over the years. I've got so much stuff. Oh. I like this because the flowers are not not very loud. They're just a nice little subtle yellow. I need something for my brush to keep my brush on. I keep saying that and then I never get anything. people use to keep their brush from rolling around. See, it just rolls. I yeah, like that. Here, I'll use a piece of this because I'm going to need this in there. to um, grunge it. right there but that's okay so what do you think so far come along what else what else what else what else what else what have I got here a little piece of this no oh here's a piece October 22nd from a ledger from the 1930s. I don't know what I want to do. Can you make a decision? I 
think I'll put this piece on that side. bit interfering with the crease with the fold but not bad let's take that pick a little bit of that out to get rid of some of that bulk in there but otherwise it's good it's coming along this one I think I want a little more grunge on there I didn't stick it down that much, so I don't like stick it on the window very much. I just I let it just kind of overhang without sticking it down with glue. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Getting there. It's kind of thick paper, but I like the color. So almost did it again. I don't know why I keep forgetting. How's that coming along? I got a little bit of glue on there, so I'm going to just grunge it up. Let's see how it grunges up the window. See that? Grunging up the window. Right. Got so much stuff here, but nothing I really want. this time this glue is a little bit thicker than I like it but uh, it's okay you can add water to your PVA glue to thin it down won't hurt it
this is like an old sheet that I just kind of glued together and use some of that. stuff I kind of like. Very thin, but it's, it's like, it's like, um, transfer paper, what do you call it? Tracing paper. Well, to think of my words, I'm old, I'm old, an old lady. This is showing, I don't want that line to show, so I'm going to cover it. This paper actually has some real grunge on it, like the real stuff from age. I'm going to use matte medium because it's very thin. And matte medium works better when it's really thin like that. Do I have it this way? I love tracing paper because it's so, it's transparent. So I don't have to worry about the fold on this one because it's the paper is so thin and it's it, it's gonna crack anyways. So I'm not gonna worry about it. In the um in the fold, it's not gonna it's not gonna Keep it from folding just fine. Come on along. That was matte medium. This I just need a thin piece of something about that. take away the writing but what has to be yeah yep I did forget huh. 
<clears throat> got all crookedy. little something right there or I can just leave it that way like I said before and grunge it up there we go grunged it so everything's folding nicely okay Moving on. Okay, this piece, yeah, I'd like to balance it a little bit with that. Grunge this up. What do you think? I like that. Oh, I like that. I like that little layer right there. You see that? Little layers. Okay, second page done. Third page almost done.
covering up that nice little piece right there, but can't avoid that. Not much good that ruler did me. Oh well. Okay, messed up a little bit on that one, but oh well. is done. It's showing a raggedy, the raggedy openings. Let's see. And then this one. There's my brush in the glue. I think I'll get a new brush. That one's kind of messed up. All right, where are you? Here's one. I just go to Hobby Lobby or wherever and buy a whole bunch of, you know, junky brushes. I don't use good brushes on gluing things down because it just ruins it, ruins the brush. Acrylic paint does a good job on a brush too. Did you ever notice? Acrylic paint. Found some old map. Yeah, that's gonna look good. And some old music. Plankton corn. Going to London. I 
get from my phone. Am I, I'm going to mess up my phone here for a second. It's just getting in the way. That better. Sorry about that. And I don't want to get it in the fold too much because it's going to interfere with, with it, with the fold. I feel like it needs some music on this this side. much better that way it tie one page ties into the next page a little bit better get in there get in there see how it's now that it's drying that thickness in there is interfering with the fold I'm going to cut a little bit of that out being careful not to cut my fold
done. Okay, I've got all the pages done. Just a matter of grunging some of them up. blue spots that are on the window so let's see if we can grunge them up as well you can see they're like spots They look like dirty old windows. Isn't that great? All right, there we are. Now, we are going to put the little pieces in, which I have right here. I have, this is a, a dish or a pl platter from a vintage pottery book. And I put something on the back because it's very thick so I think I had glued another piece on the back to make it kind of thick and a dragonfly and this little little image of a woman and I also put something on the back of it to just to stiffen it up a little bit I glued it on before I cut her out and then I cut around the image, fussy cut. So this, I'm going to put her, so that you can see, I'll put this piece of paper in there. I'm going to put her right there, like that. Yes. So I'm going to turn it over, trying to keep her in place, and glue her down. Now I'm not gluing her to the window, I'm just gluing her to the paper part of it. Fly, and I'm going to put it in this window. Uh, let's see. Do I want it that far up? Where's this one? Let's see where that one will go, like that. And I want the dragonfly to come down a little bit lower. Almost touching her head. Yeah, that's much better. So the dragonfly, I'm going to keep it in place while I turn it over, glue the dragonfly down. Now the dragonfly paper is a little bit flimsy. So I'm going to just put some dots of glue and glue a, just a little tiny bit of, of the dragonfly to the window. 
like the legs should be glued down because they're so they're so delicate and flimsy. like a moon I mean it's not a moon but I'd like to think it's a moon so put this one here And she's done. That's it. There it is. All done. Now you can glue this down to your junk journal by this flap. And then you can turn the pages like that. There she is. This one and whatever the other one is. This one here. And you can see this one's a little bigger than this one because it was determined by the windows of the envelope. These were smaller windows. So you can do them in all different sizes. But yeah, that one and that one. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you go out and make some because they were really fun. And I hope you come back and watch me again. I've got lots of other videos out there. And go to my... Uh, store. I have a, a, an online store. It's my JML Journal store and it's at jmljournals.com and you can find some of the old envelopes and um, some other old things. I have some old metal letters and all kinds of different things in there and some printables as well. So go ahead and check it out and also make sure you subscribe to my newsletter because that's where I I tell everybody my all all my news and update everybody in, in my newsletter and there's freebies in my newsletter, free printables and, and articles and um, all kinds of things in there. I mean it's it's getting it's getting quite big actually, my newsletter. So hope you enjoyed this and please come again. And have a great day. Be safe out there. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.